And I'll tell you something. It's funny how when you're in a great, great state and you're in a grateful state, things just come to you without even working for it. It just comes to you. Ah, oh, you don't know what happened to me. I got this. Because you're, when you're in a higher state, you, you attract better things. You attract better people. Isn't that amazing? So really, you don't have to do much. You don't have to expect anything. You just have to put yourself in a position to receive. You're attracting. You have to put, you're a magnet. What do you want to attract? And just, you'll attract it. And the same thing, unfortunately, the other way too. So expectations is one way to attract, obviously, because remember, when you wake up with too much expectations, you're showing heaven that there's a lack. That there's a lack. You understand? You're waking up with a lack. It's not, it's not happy, it's not joy, it's lack. When I'm waking up with lack, I'm waking up with discontent. You understand? So that eventually becomes a pattern of pattern. So what you have to do is you have to walk around feeling abundant. I had a class today on, on trust. How I gave seven to eight sources. How even our sages expect us to celebrate in advance. You have a situation, something you want in your life? Celebrate in advance. Celebrate in advance. Why? Because I want to show heaven. I don't want to show heaven my vision board. I want to show heaven my gratitude board. And if I show heaven all my gratitude, what's going to happen? I'm showing abundance. More things are going to come that are good for me. But when I'm working on lack, walking around too much expectations, eventually I'm going to get disappointed.